Hey guys, what up? It is Bread Chicken here, bringing you a little video on the update in Minecraft. So there was an update this Thursday. It was on, or it was called Update 1.7. Uh, they also had an update 1.7.1 slightly after to fix some bugs that 1.7 had. But let's just jump right into it. So the smaller portion of uh, the update was that you could make shears. Now shears, um, shear sheep apparently. And when you shear sheep it gives you three blocks. And now this is the only way you can actually get wool from a sheep without damaging it. You can also kill it now, that and it will give you one piece of wool, you know, as opposed to three. But I guess if you want to harvest uh, wool fast, you ought to do that. But since I have one in my inventory, I'm not going to make one. And uh, there's an also another cool thing about it. The other cool thing is that you can now harvest leaves. You can also get leaves block or leaf blocks. Jesus. And uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. I guess you want to make a tree house and you need some leaves to uh, cover up some some mistakes you made or whatever. And that's pretty cool. Unfortunately, there's no sheep around, so I cannot show you that. I'm looking everywhere. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any sheep around, so I cannot show you the shearing. But yeah, moving on. There is another part of the update, and that is that uh, fences can now be stacked on top of each other. It used to be that um, when you wanted to stack fences you had to stack blocks and then stack the fence against the blocks like that. Um, unfortunately you could not really see it that well because the update has already been implemented and yeah it didn't, it didn't change much but the big portion of the update was they added a new a new key element I believe to the Minecraft world and that is um, that is pistons so here's something that I made it's just a little simple tomb when it's off it's closed barricaded in there's only one passage up um, flip the switch open hallway goes all the way down for quite a while I think I might change this into a level or something and incorporate it that way. There's plenty of ways to incorporate these pistons. When making a piston, this is what you gotta do. You gotta put one iron ingot into the center, put a redstone on the bottom, put three wooden planks up top, and fill the sides with cobblestone. So that makes a regular piston just like that. Unfortunately, I do not have any uh, green slime left or slime I forgot what it was called slime balls I do not have any slime balls left to make sticky pistons but what you do is you take the sticky piston and let's use the egg as a representation of a slime, ba slime ball Jesus and uh, you stick it right on top and you will get one of these over here now the main difference between the two pistons is that one sticks to blocks and one does not or kind of the little bit different this one has blocks stick to it and this one ha does not um, I'm gonna show you a couple examples here in a second so this is what they look like you know one place down this is what they look like when uh, erect um, they're both the same height two blocks high I will show you using dirt why not they are two blocks high just like that show you how their properties differ and uh, oh crap that is uh, some redstone that I don't want to be hurting so this is how they differ when you turn them on they look the same turn them off the regular one has just pushed the block one block higher and the sticky has kept the block so those are, that's the main difference here's something weird that I found trying to mess around with them here let me just change the time here set it to one o'clock in the morning alrighty and here I was trying to mess around with um, block or not blocks with pistons sticking to pistons which you know push blocks up in the air and stuff like that um, this is what I got from just a regular wiring something that would look like it would work and it only pushes the top piston but for whatever reason if I switch 
the redstone and the redstone torch around. They both go up, which is kind of weird, but whatever. And this is uh, some of the physics with the sand. If you just take them down, the sand just falls just like normal sand. I mean, nothing too different right there. Moving on this way, here's another use for the pistons. I mean, creepers blow up if they're a block away from you, so if you want to protect yourself in your tree fortress or whatever you may have, you can just make a wall of pistons and it pushes it out another block. So it's just an extra safe way to uh, explore and have a good time in Minecraft. Um, ooh, here's a sheep. Demonstration time. Oh, right click. My bad. And there are three blocks of woolly goodness. Here's another use of the pistons. They can actually block water and lava. So if you have them turned on, they block it. If you have them turned off, they flow just like normal. And the sheep goes down into the valley. And yeah. Going all the way back here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I wish there was a run option. It would keep things a little bit uh, more fast paced. But unfortunately there is not. There's my little three dogs over there having a good time. So here's just a regular plain staircase and uh, you know just leads up to whatever room you may have up here. But uh, it's actually a little bit more than that. It's sort of a way to hide things. So you know you can hide two rooms easily within a staircase. It's pretty cool. And just the pistons you know it makes it adds a whole lot to Minecraft. I mean here you go here's a simple wiring. Uh, the weds, re, redstone repeaters. The redstone repeaters are kind of needed when using the pistons. For whatever reason, the redstone by itself does not like to be next to um, pistons, and the pistons don't like to be touched by redstone. So it's kind of weird, but you know. I've also thought of making you know like a sand trap or something like that. Um, I was gonna have a huge sand valley and just you know have a bunch of um, pressure pads, pressure plates, and when you walk on a certain area all the sand drops, but just for um, time and stuff like that, here it is, my trap. You fall, you know, and then you can have like lava down there or whatever. I use the torches to break the sand and have the pistons hold the sand, which is kind of cool. They can hold stuff sideways. Um, here, let me just turn it off to show you what they can actually do. Get up the stair. So they can hold blocks up like this. Kind of cool. Kind of neat. Pistons are pretty useful, I'm finding out. Um, I'll get to that a little later. Hopefully this works. Last time I tried this, it did not work because the server needed to be rest restarted or for whatever reason. But um, you can actually make bridges automated bridges that will build themselves but the only thing is that um, the pistons can only push 15 blocks I believe so they can only push a bridge of 15 hopefully this works and it looks like it's going to and this is going to just start m making a bridge all the way across kinda cool actually really cool really neat I think that is crazy awesome just have um, some lava and some water and when they touch they make cobblestone and this thing pushes it all the way and there you go, fast, easy bridge without you having to hold shift and be a little pansy on the edge of a, a block freaking out like, oh! So it adds a nice little touch to it. Here's the same thing in a bigger scale. Um, another thing they added to the Minecraft is that TNT, ooh, it can be broken down. A little bit, a little bit tricky, um, but with redstone or uh, levers, you can quickly get rid of that TNT problem you've been having and kablam! So this is the same bridge building process on a little bit of a larger scale exactly 15 blocks I mean I tried to go as max and that is the max so hopefully this one works as well if it does that'd be pretty awesome and it, it looks like it's gonna work awesome awesome thank you and it's basically the same method except I added pistons going this way horizontally pushing the blocks and replacing it and bam in a couple minutes your bridge will be good as new no creeper problem can destroy it no TNT problem can destroy it everything would be it would just be perfect it's just a perfect world in Minecraft so that is the 1.7 update hope you guys have enjoyed 
This is breaded chicken, and uh, I'm going to go beat my dogs. Peace.